Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike, and thanks for joining me this morning. I got a real quick call for you, but maybe an important one. Tell me this. Tell me what real estate agents and athletes, professional athletes, have in common. Do we have anything in common with professional athletes? Well, let's take a look at it for just a minute. Um, <laughs> Now look, I know you're going to make fun of me when I use the Atlanta Falcons as an example, but they're right here in front of us, so let's use that example for right now. Do you think, despite all appearances, do you think that when the Atlanta Falcons go out to play on Sundays that they've practiced during the week? Oh, hell yeah they have, of course. Can you imagine? They're making millions of dollars and they just show up on Sunday and when the offense goes out on the field, Matt Ryan's in the huddle drawing plays in the grass. Can you imagine? Of course they don't do that. Of course they go into a huddle, they call a play that they've practiced a hundred times during the week and every player on that team, hopefully, despite appearances sometimes, knows what their assignment is. They know where they're, what the, where they're supposed to go and what they're supposed to do. And not only do they know that, they know what everybody else on their team is supposed to do on that play. And not only do they know that, when they walk up to the line of scrimmage, and I don't think you have to be a football fan to appreciate this, they look across the line of scrimmage at the defense and they know what defense the other team is going to play. Why? They've practiced it all week. They've not only practiced their stuff, they've practiced what they expect to see from the other team. So when they walk up to the line of scrimmage, there's no surprises. They look up and down the line, they look at the defense, and they go, oh, we've seen this before. We've seen this before. We're prepared for this. We, know now, we now know what to do. And while they might have called a play in the huddle, when you hear the quarterback yelling out all these crazy terms that seemingly don't mean anything, they don't mean anything except to the other players on his team. And what Matt Ryan's yelling up and down is, okay, hey guys, remember when we walk up to the line and they have this defense set up, we're going to change the play and we're going to go to this now. And that's what all those words mean. They only mean something to the other people on his team. And great teams are successful because while they have a plan, they've practiced so much that they're ready to change their plan at a moment's notice and adapt to the situation that they find themselves in. Do you think that the Atlanta Falcons and Atlanta area real estate agents have anything in common? Well, they should, but I'm not sure they do. Are we practicing every day? Are we prepared to adapt and change to whatever environment comes along to face us? If we're not, can we really claim to be professionals? Can we really expect to earn high incomes? What would you say to your favorite athletes that weren't preparing and practicing? Would you be a little frustrated with them? Would you be disappointed? You know, in sports, they call it the law of 10,000. To master anything requires 10,000 repetitions. And I know you might be feeling a little disappointed to hear that, like, God, oh, it's so hard, that's so much. I want it to come quicker. Well, I didn't say that no results would come before 10,000 repetitions. I said to master anything is the law of 10,000. 10,000 repetitions. So are we practicing? Are we role playing? Are we putting ourselves in an environment where we can be successful because we are prepared and rehearsed? I'm going to close this morning by offering you this. I want to invite you to come tomorrow morning, Wednesday, at 1030 and come join me for an hour and I'm going to demonstrate to you, I want you to bring the toughest situations and objections that you run into in your business. Ones that seemingly have no answer or solution to them. I want you to bring and see if you can stump me. I'm going to sit in the middle of the room and I'm going to field all of these from you. And I want to see if somebody can stump me.
And I want to demonstrate to you how the law of 10,000 can be empowering to you. Probably not by this Saturday, but through the course of your career. I want you to do that because I want you to go out and make it happen for yourself.